say, come fill these things up. Don't touch me. I didn't Don't touch ever you. touch me. Get off Don't me. Don't touch Get me. Get off me. Said you can't Don't touch this. me. Can't you just touch me. You just assaulted me. It's on camera, mate. Don't ever put your hands on me. You understand? Get away from me. What? Stop it right now. No, he yeah. just put his hands on me, mate. He did do it. He did so. Don't lie. Alright? He put his hands on me. He did. It's on camera, mate. So don't lie. I'm not you know, I'm not walk up. You, you're mate. touching me, I'm mate. It's on camera. Look, yeah, it's on camera. Yeah, yeah. can you walk? Don't can you touch walk, me. Man? You've just assaulted can you, me. Can you walk? You've just assaulted yeah. me. Can you walk? No, I can't walk. Can you walk? No, I can't. What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it? I have the right to move you right now. No, you don't. I do have the right. No, you don't. I do have the right. Security job. Security job is to observe and report. No, that's not security. 100% that is. 100% that is. Now you're in. Listen, listen no, this me. is a private area. Let me you're, make you're this, not, you don't have any right to be let here. Let me make this perfectly clear. Let me make this perfectly clear. I do this a lot, yeah? If you think that you're going to put hands on me, I can guarantee you one thing. I will pursue a criminal complaint against you, and that will be upheld. I can guarantee you that. I'll then Why sue the council. All right, you can do that outside. 100%. Nah, no, listen, listen, can, listen. Yeah, you can Take do that outside. Take your hands off me. You can do that listen, outside. No, listen, no, hey, listen. get off me, man. No, hey, get off me. What are you doing, mate? Ah! 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 Ah, ah, the door's not even open, mate. What are you doing? Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of you. You've messed up, mate. Yeah, we can do all of that. You've messed up, big man. You absolutely carry on. Oh, you just messed up, <laughs> big man. At least he swung on like you. You coward. Yeah. For more evidence of data breaches, let's see what we got here. There's more evidence of a data breach. What the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you swearing at me? Am I swearing at you? You've already went too far. You're actually swearing at a member of the public. Are you for real? So, absolute insanity of uh, Kensington and Chelsea's council. Their conduct has been unbecoming at the very best. And outright outrageous at the worst. Completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Hey mate, awesome. I just need to get a copy of your complaints process, please. Uh, her mate, her go about making formal complaints, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, the formal complaints is actually done online, sir. Alright, okay. Yeah. I could do it at home, sorry. Right. Okay, yeah. Is this the same it's on, like if I search yeah, online? Actually, yeah, absolutely, so yeah. So where do I go to? Just type in complaints. Ah, right, okay. Awesome. Right, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that later. Cheers, mate. The insanity. Jeez. So, I kind of knew they would say that, but it's better to ask first. My arm is aching when that guy's grabbed me up. And to be fair, he was a big lad, you know. So I was, when I was turning up the swing, I was uh, kind of glad of, a little bit that it didn't. <laughs> you know? The irony that it's called the Freeman Suite, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez, the irony of that. I didn't feel so, feel so free when I was getting gripped up by some overzealous security officials. You want to hit my camera again? Huh? You know how to take another swing? I don't think so. I bet you're regretting that now.
<laughs> so you push my phone. I think the camera will say otherwise or the way this man conducted himself. I think the police will say otherwise okay. when the police... I think you've said this over you've just, and over again. But you've lied to the gentleman. He says you just pushed my phone. You didn't tell him you ran up and smacked my, my personal property. Okay. I smacked you. But you know, you know this is very expensive and you've probably caused damage. So I will make a civil claim against the council for the assault and, and for the damage to my property. Yeah. Say the same thing to the guard who tried to remove I will, the yeah. So I will make sort of criminal complaints against you. Like I would like to see what your employer's got to say when you end up with a criminal conviction for, a, for an assault, for the <laughs> threats that you gave me, um, you and your colleague physically threatening me, telling me you'd put me on the floor and whatnot. Um, and, and yeah, that when SIA get a, get a wind of that, I'm pretty sure your licence will get revoked. Considering now that this gentleman's out, you've got it on public display when uh, you didn't have it out earlier. And it's a criminal offence. So you've messed up to the next degree. That's not an SIA licence, it's a blue one. But obviously someone possibly as dense as yourself might not know the difference. Um, but yeah, I'd be very curious to know what SIA will do once they get windy, you end up There's with a criminal no conviction. So excuse me, my friend, you've not been I'm here. Not I've been insulted, I've been assaulted, I've been threatened. Okay. So let, right. there is need for insults, There's unfortunately. I'm not your friend. Secondly, Good for you. There's no need to insult. Yes, I'm, there is. There certainly is. Okay. Yeah, there is. If you're going to insult people here, <laughs> then you should leave. No, I won't leave. It's a publicly funded building. It's publicly you're going accessible. To people. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. They've insulted me. They've swore at me. They've assaulted me. They've threatened me. Are you going to ask them to leave? Or is it one rule for one and one rule for someone else? It seems to be. You're happy to take. You're, you're happy to have take you heard the. Of of section 5 of the public order. I have, correct, yeah. Right, right. Well, you've just breached that. Have I? Are you sure? My colleague. Are you sure yes. about that? No, yes, I haven't. I guarantee sure. you I haven't. Okay. Okay, we'll call the police so, and we'll see what they've got to say about it. Um, and, yes, we will do. Yeah. And, um, it seems to me you're deliberately here to antagonise people. Am I? Let me ask you this, right, since you're not willing to answer any of my other questions. If I'd been left alone, what do you think would have happened? Well, perhaps if you... I didn't ask for these gentlemen. I, they insulted me first. They assaulted me. They threatened me. They, they, they've assaulted my property. Okay. okay. Do you know the fact that you, you do know you're on camera here? I do know that. I'm also okay. recording. So we'll look at it. Yeah, and 100%. If you've got a complaint, then we'll follow it up. I will make a formal complaint. Okay. Um, what's really going to make the difference is the, the court of public opinion, when they make their verdict, because I can assure you one thing, thousands and thousands of people are going to see this. I can guarantee you that. So what's your purpose in coming here and making this, this, this um, you know? Making what? The, the making film? A making a film. recording? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, so the, the gentleman asked me earlier, I, I gave him an answer, he didn't like the answer, but what I do is I travel up and down the country, right. I go to taxpayer funded facilities, yeah. places of public interest, yeah. and I go and have a look to see what local literature is available, yeah. what local opportunities are in Kensington and Chelsea, and I put that, okay. usually, on a YouTube channel. All right. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I think you're entitled to do so. But Am please, I? But oh, please okay. don't insult any members right. of staff. Here. Can I just can I just okay. say something? You no. say you say that I'm entitled to do so, but so far I've been assaulted for doing so. I've been threatened for doing so. I've been verbally abused for doing so. Right. Uh, I've had what? my property assaulted for doing so. There's so no you'll such thing say as property assault. There is, Has any of your property been damaged? I, I, I probably, yes, because this is very well, expensive. Well, not probably, but how? How would, has it been damaged? As I say, I would take that away and I'll get it checked, all right? Because it's a very, very expensive well, it doesn't look damaged to you, Are you, are you uh, qualified to, to make that assessment? Yes. Are you? So, how yes. are you qualified? That's none of your business. Yeah, because you're so, not qualified. You're well, making an assumption. You. You're making an assumption. Nor are you. That's why I said I'd take it away and so, get it checked, because no, I'm not qualified. That's fine. But if you continue to insult any person here, okay. you're going to need to leave. Okay, well, okay? first and foremost, Do you understand that? Are, are you going to ask them to leave for insulting me, for verbally abusing no. me, for threatening I'm me, for swearing at me, for assaulting me? Are you going to ask them to leave? That's immaterial. How is it immaterial? How is it immaterial? Okay. So, so, it seems to me you're deliberately antagonising. No, you're just not getting the answers to the questions <laughs> that you would like. No, okay. no, because you refused to answer. I did answer okay. your question. I didn't no, refuse didn't. at all. You didn't. No, what did, didn't, what didn't I refuse to answer? You what, didn't. You know full What did you well ask you me that I refused to answer? To what did you ask me that I refused to answer? Yeah. Okay. What did right. you ask me that I refused to answer? I so didn't refuse to answer you at all. You've been asked to leave. Okay. You are now trespassed. Am I? Yes. Okay. Okay. In a public place? Please leave. No, thank you. I'll well, leave off no, my free even in a public funded place, yep. you can be a trespasser. Do you understand that? In a public funded place? Yes. If you say so. 
So if you go to the MOD, to an army base, you'll be asked so to leave. MOD, if you go to army bases are usually, are usually covered by legislation to make it a criminal offence to trespass on that property. If you go to okay. an NHS hospital, okay. you can be asked to leave, okay. and at which point if you refuse, that's trespass. So, so what I will say is trespass, as you're probably aware, is a civil, civil offence, it's a civil tort. By all means, go and draft, legislate, go and draft a court order mm -hmm. and, and have me ejected and banned from entering your property that way. Okay, right? but you've been asked to leave. I have. So you are now trespassing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, why don't you just leave and leave us in peace? Why don't you leave me in peace and I'll leave off my own free will? How about that? Well, why don't you leave? You don't have a right to be here now because you are now okay. trespassing. Okay. You've been asked to leave. And I've politely declined, sir. Well, it's not a matter of you politely declining. Well, it's a matter is. of you need to leave. So you've asked me to leave and I've politely declined. You have yeah. politely declined. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, um, why are you wearing a hat and glasses and mask? Because I've a reasonable explanation for that. And just like when you says to me it was none of my business, like the same answer goes to you, it's none of your well, business. Well, it seems to me you're trying to hide your identity. If that's what you think, then so be it. But I, all I'll say is you I've got are. a reasonable explanation for all them things. What I would say is if you've seen someone in a cab or a burka, would you say that to them? That's immaterial. Uh, how do you know? Because you're not in a burqa. But you don't know why I'm wearing this. You're not in a burqa. But you don't know why I'm wearing you this. You are deliberately hiding your, your you, identity. You're, you're making an assumption. You don't know why I'm wearing this. You're just being deliberately antagonistic. No, antagonistic. you're making assumptions, okay? And I'm challenging no, I'm your assumptions and you just don't like it. Okay. You've been asked to leave. Please leave. I'm going to politely decline. Well, you can politely decline, but I'm telling you, you leave now. I do you understand decline. that? Oh, yes, I do understand that. Do you understand that. English? Yeah, I do understand English, Good. yeah. Good. Are, you, are you making you a jibe are... about my Scottish heritage? Is that what you're doing? No. Yes. You know because it's a protected, you know it's a protected characteristic. And so's being Irish. Is it? Well, I didn't yeah. say anything about and someone I, being Irish, did I? I didn't say anything about your Scottish heritage. You'd be saying, accent. do you understand English? You need to be very careful. Well, because, because I have because just asked you, you could, to leave. Yeah, and I politely That's declined. That's clear English. I, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I acknowledge what you said, and I said I politely okay. declined. Okay. Why don't you just cut your losses and just leave now, and leave these good people <sighs> the, in I, peace and quiet. I would if beg you wish to, to make a complaint... Well, this gentleman, this lady, that gentleman, I've had any interactions with, but certainly this gentleman is a thug, and he's going to have his SIA license revoked and he's going to be looking for a new job I can guarantee him that Fine. and the Good people, of Kensington, the people of Kensington the people of Kensington and Chelsea are going to be really interested to see how the public officials are treating members of the public they have just simply, sim simply come to see what is going on at the local town hall so members of the public who come in to be deliberately antagonistic I have did, listen I didn't start any confrontation everything was brought to me I didn't initiate contact with anyone everyone initiated contact leave, with me so I didn't start leave. any you have been asked to leave. Yes. Please leave. I, so I heard you the first ten times, and um, I'm going to politely decline. All right. You, can't you have a nice day. I can't politely decline. You are now decline. trespassing. Well, I have we politely declined. We have the right to use reasonable force. Unfortunately, to you don't. You. Not from a public place. Yes, you don't. We do. No, you don't. Listen, it's fine. If you want to do that, remember one thing: reasonable and proportionate force, and it will. It's fine. It will just add to the complaint, and it will add to the value of the civil claim that will hit the council. I do this a lot, my friend. Are you I a know, lawyer? I know what I'm talking about. I'm very well represented by a very well established legal firm. Are you a lawyer? I can. I can what assure you that. What legal firm? Pardon? What legal firm? HNK Solicitors, based in Liverpool. I said. Where? Based where? In Liverpool. Yeah, I, su I suggest you do your research because yeah, they handle claims like this quite a lot. And, um, and then I'm They also I'm handle sort of section five public order Se offences. That's a criminal offence, and it's not breached. Nothing is breached well, the threshold well, from my might, from, from my might position. You find a um, criminal solicitor. I, I certainly won't. I can guarantee you that. If you feel that I've, if you feel that I've committed a section five public order, by all means, get the police involved. Okay, you by have all means. I have. Of, yeah. And what did what did I say exactly? Yeah. What did I say? You called what did you call me an idiot or something like that? I did call him an idiot. Yeah, you yeah. know they called me an idiot earlier though. Do you know that? So they committed a section mm. for the, and that's on camera. They called me an idiot earlier. Mm. So so if I've committed a section five, then so is your colleagues. Right. And that means his job's on the line. So, so you, you need to be very careful. You weren't here earlier. Why don't you be quiet? No, I'll say whatever I want. It's a free country, I have freedom of expression. You're quite welcome to go and sit down until the police arrive. I'll hang about whatever I want. No, you won't, because this is will. not your property. It's, it's a public property. It's not your property. It's a public property. I'm a member of the public. Are you a, t are you a, ta a council taxpayer of this borough? Uh, it's, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Are you? Yes or no? So you it's irrelevant. So yes or no answer. Let me ask you this. Uh, are you a council taxpayer of this borough? Yes or no? That's none of your business.
Okay. Does all your does all your funding come from council tax alone? You don't get any central government funding. Correct? Exactly. Yeah. So wind your neck in and go back to work. How about Excuse that? me. I told you. I find that rude. Wind your neck in and go back to work. I find rude. Is it rude, rude? Isn't a crime? Okay. Okay. I want you to leave now. I'll leave off my own free will when I'm ready. I've asked you. Politely. You have several times, You've and although, like, politely. I don't know if you're broken, if you need a, a restart or you need a jump start, but you keep repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting Are you different results. Insulting? Pardon? No, I'm just saying you repeat. I'm making an observation. Right. You're repeating yourself over and over again. So are you, you. You know the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And I think that's what you're doing right now. So I'm making myself absolutely clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you think I'm trespassing, okay. if you think I'm trespassing, yes, by all are. means, go and get a court order drafted and, uh, and have, me, have me banned from the building that way. It's a civil offence and at this moment in time I have not committed any criminal offences whatsoever. I'm very good at what I do and I but always make sure been asked to I have leave. been asked to leave. Yes, I have several and times. you are now trespassing okay. and you are refusing to leave. I am. Okay. Correct. That's good. So when the police come... Jeez, I'll, I'll take you about 20 times to to understand what I was saying. Maybe it's yourself that has an issue speaking English or understanding plain English. Maybe, um, well, you know, maybe you do because well, you've been asked I've to not... leave how many times and you're still here. Yeah, and I've given you the same answer and you fail to understand what answer I'm giving. And you fail to understand what I tell you. Okay, I know I understand what you're saying and I've made myself absolutely clear. And I understand what you're right? saying. Trespassing but is a civil matter. Who are you anyway? Gift to leave. Who are you? It's not your business. Okay, so, so so you're just some random stranger coming up and asking with no authority, asking a member of the public to leave a building that you might not have any business to. Is that what you're doing? So you've no authority to tell me what to do whatsoever. Oh, I think I have. Do you? Yes. And what authority is that, good sir? Authority as part of this borough council. Okay, what authority is that? you are being asked to leave. I appreciate that, but what authority is that? You are being asked to leave? Yeah. Leave now, No, please. thank you. No, thank you. I know you're broken and you don't understand what it is I'm saying to you and you're just sort of stuck on loop. No, um, actually I understand very well what you're saying. Yep. I understand the fact you're here to deliberately antagonise I'm people. not. So if you'd left you me alone, I did. After they insulted me you've and assaulted me and verbally abused me and threatened me, me uh, after you insulted okay. me. I have not insulted you. I, you know that. I repeated the exact same thing to you that you repeated to me, that you don't understand plain English. That's what you said to me first. It's all on camera. So be very, no, very you careful. Said lots more. Okay. Listen, mate, to you me. need to get up earlier in the morning if you think you're going to catch me out, all right? Mm -hmm. You're just not sharp enough. It's as simple as that. Okay? So, as I say, uh, if you think you're that. That's so boring. I know. Really but, I, but I've kept your attention for so long. So I'm obviously not that boring. You're still here saying the same thing over and over again. Because you need to leave, please. But I thought it was boring. You are boring, that's why I want you to leave. So why don't you just go away, go back to work? Why don't you just leave? I'll leave when I'm good and ready. All right? no, I'm not going to do it because you you're telling me to. I don't, work, I don't work for you, I don't work for the council. All right? More evidence of a data breach. I'm not going to lie guys, if you've seen the Croydon Council one, the gentleman there, the dark top on the glasses, he looks very similar to the security guy at, uh, at Croydon Council, very similar. The police are on their way. Help, come quick. Help, come quick. Why am I camera? The, the interesting thing that was said was that guy said he was within the rights to film but then he tried to force me to leave so I'm clearly infringing on my rights document drop box He's here, back again. Oh no, the man with a very dangerous camera. Help, come quick. 
So, I honestly don't think the police are rushing out here, guys. A man with a camera, like, where are they going to come from? Hammersmith Police Station, possibly. Um, so, when I was at Shepherd's Bush, they were Hammersmith Police Station, I believe. Could be wrong, but I believe he was from Hammersmith Police Station. And uh, his reaction was absolute pure gold. Um, It's your SIA license, mate. Right. Where's your SIA license? No, it's a criminal offence not to have on public display. Yeah, I'm not talking to you, mate. Okay, no worries. Um, I will be reporting some of your colleagues. I'll include you in that as well because it is a criminal offence, punishable by up to six months in prison mm -hmm. and an unlimited fine. Just to make you aware. Oh, look. There it is. Hey, oh, you're right. Oh, you've been nice now. No, I've always been nice. No, you have been pretty oh, upset okay. earlier on. Just you're deliberately antagonising people. So I'm not. Like, I'm not at yes, all. You are. I clearly am not. Yes, you are. I clearly am not. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, thank you. you. Please come. You know you are required to leave, please. Okay. Okay. We've uh, both been polite. <laughs> no, we've not. Unfortunately, you accused me of committing crimes and and being being harassing people and being abusive yeah, and, you have and been, stuff like that. I clearly have not. So. It's clearly have not. It's all on camera, my friend. But it's not a problem. The public will will Fine. will see how this council. But it's not a matter of public. You've been asked to leave. Please leave. No. Yes. No. Please leave. No, thank you. Don't touch me, my friend. Don't touch me. I'm not. Don't I'm not. Don't worry. Me. I will not touch you. I'm not harassing you. You if are you just harassing go about, me. If you go about your business, this conversation is over. I'm going about my business, and I'm asking you to leave, please. No. Okay. You know how this goes. Come on, man. Oh, you have not learned. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from originally, anyway? Where am I from? Yeah. Where do you think I'm from? See if Glasgow. you can guess. Glasgow. Glasgow. Congratulations, yeah. You've, you've, Cracking place. Yeah, you like it there? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, Whereabouts in Glasgow have you been, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, well, mostly around the, the city centre. City centre. It's a nice city centre. Yes. It's done a lot over the past sort of 20, 30 years to try and you, um, clean up the yeah, image a lot. It, it, it had an unwarranted bad reputation. Did it? Right, okay. But um, You I think it was unwarranted? Yeah, I do. Do you? They had a really bad issue with like drug addicts. Had a bad issue with knife crime and stuff like that. So uh, London. London does have its places, yeah. correct? Um, but yeah, um, it it's did all right. have. It's all right. I, I, I've really enjoyed my sort of visits up to Glasgow. Yeah, nice it is a nice city. You yeah. know, it's good for shopping as well. So like, um, I wish we could have spoke like this the whole time because I want to share. I want the council to be seen in good light. I'm not here for a negative reaction, as you say. Right, but um, you know, just, but just let's everybody be kind to each other. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's start again. How about that? Let's and, start uh, again, shall right, we? Right, okay, let's, let's yeah. start again. Do you have and, a first uh, name I can call you by? Uh, you could just call me Good Citizen if you if you wish, or you can just call me Stranger, whatever you feel, as long as it's not... Strangers it's, it's, in the Night. Strangers in the Night, <laughs> 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 right, okay. Uh, right, okay, if that's what you want to say, you know. Like, um, yeah. So do you, you know, do you, do you live in London or...? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do live in London. I live in the South East, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been down here for quite some time. You probably wouldn't think it with my accent, no. A lot of people still struggle to to no, understand. I, th I think you've lost a lot of your accent, but it's still. But being part so Scottish, cool. you would probably notice that yeah. some people down but, here don't. Um, but you can tell you've been away from Scotland long enough. To I have, yeah. It's, I've had to tone it down a bit. Like when I was younger, I was a younger man, like it was. Uh, no, no, but just it was a lot more cosmopolitan city, gosh. isn't it? It is, yeah. So. It is a nice city. Yeah. Very busy place, you know. But, but, but yeah, it's one of them, like. If you don't mind me asking, we don't need to answer. I will take no offence if you don't answer. Like, what is your capacity here? What job do you do here if you don't mind me I asking? I just work here. You just work here? Not a problem. Yeah. If that's yeah. what you want to, okay. you want to, answer. Um, yeah, you want to answer. Um, no issue with that whatsoever. Right. But this, you know, just just please think, some people might get upset with you shoving the camera in their face. So, like, I don't shove it in people's faces, but I get what you're saying. But it, but it looks like yeah. it, do you know what I mean? So it, and, I, uh, like, I can understand why people might get a bit sensitive for some of them, and of course I can, you know, yeah. but like my argument would be like there's cameras all over the building recording anyway. Um, yeah, but they, you know, they're controlled by Data Protection Act and GDPR. They are, yeah, so, correct. So, you know, so um, as, you, as you know, of yeah. course, and um, you know, we have certain, well, you know, the principles of data protection yeah, under, under those sort of rules, so, um, you know, we, we releasing some pictures of people's images and things are very much restricted. So, yeah, uh, they are. Um, you know. Yeah, they are, and, and yeah, you, there is a distinction there between sort of the, the images that are captured by this organ, this sort of council, in terms of how they're stored and yeah. what they're used for, compared with with my images. Um, my argument again would be that 
so if you're driving down the road or you're walking down the pavement there could be cars capturing your images from dash cams and stuff like that and you don't know what's going to happen with those images as well um, and and to be fair whenever i go to a location the decision is never made at the point of filming whether or not uh, i'm going to make it public that decision is made further further down the line I mean, look if, if you want to know more about the council yeah why not get in touch with them you know uh, I, I think the committee meetings are, i think the committee meetings are public events some of them Super yeah i believe yeah and um um you know open transparency and all that why don't you come along you can do um subject data requests and uh, freedom of information requests yeah um if you want to know more yeah. Okay. And um, so, like Matt, like, to, and I'm being perfectly honest with you. Whether yeah. you whether you take that at face value or not, it's completely up to yourself. My honest intention when I come here is to see sort of what's going on in the local area. Uh, I had a, the first thing I did when I came in was look at all the notice boards and whatnot, um, and and just sort of see how the building is, is that's paid for by taxpayers is kept and looked after. Mm -hmm. Now, I did go into that sort of building over there, that Freeman's Suite. Okay, your call, your security colleagues did come in, sort of saying it was private, it was staff only. One of them lied, said I tried to go downstairs, I clearly didn't, it's on film. Um, but what I would say as a piece of sort of partner advice would be that if it is private, you know, um, and it is for staff only, uh, that the door shouldn't really be open. Like I walked past, the door opened and I went in, there's no signage or anything there to tell yeah. any unsuspecting member of the public yeah, that so it's a private area. That's a fair area. point, but you know, you were asked to, to leave there. I was, yeah. And, um, you know, just, but what we I, don't want to go down the no. trespassing argument yeah. route. Okay, no, again, we'll go down in circles, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> you know, like, we don't want to do well, that, of um, course. But. You know, if, if you're asked to leave, then, you know, you, you, you have to. Um, but, um, <laughs> Anyway, it's Friday. Don't chill out. I am. Once I'm done. Have you been working a week? Yes, I've had a very busy week. Yeah, it's, it's non-stop to be honest. Like, what, I'm guessing IT. IT. Yeah. No, like I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. So this is just a, a hobby of mine. Now this isn't full time. Um, mm. I'm self-employed, and I sort of do my own thing, um, and I do this on the side. It's just a hobby. I mean, I got into it about a year ago, and I quite enjoy it. Um, uh, where have you been to? Oh, I've been everywhere. Jeez, I've been to Scotland, I've been to Manchester, I've been yeah. up and down the country. Um, and yeah, and then obviously London. I've done quite a lot of places in London. Yeah. But I travel all over and it really does vary depending on locations. I've been to locations where there's sort of situations like this develop. And I've been to other locations where I'm mm. almost welcomed with, with open arms. And people see it. So the way I should sort of say to, to councils or whatever it is that I'm... I'm filming that is that you should treat it like a, a PR exercise and use it as an opportunity to, to try and sort of. Okay, I mean, that's one perspective, but why not, you know, uncover your face and take your glasses I understand. off and let us see you? So, what I would say is that, you know, that I do have reasonable explanations for all of them. So, yeah. first and foremost, it was sunny today, okay, and my eyesight's really bad. These are prescription sunglasses. Oh, okay. All right. Secondly, uh, I also have quite substantial underlying health conditions. Yeah. Um, so, during COVID and all of that, I was. Um, I was part of the, the first to be told to shield for almost years oh on end. God. It was ridiculous. Oh no. So as a result, when I come to places like this, I do end up um, coming very close to individuals, and I don't know whether COVID's still about, you know, yeah. um, and I don't know whether or not I'm exposing myself to be um, to, to any sort of pathogens or anything like that. Yeah. The other argument I've got is that a lot of people say that they, they want to... They, they, there's an expectation of privacy. Now, unfortunately for them, um, in terms of sort of UK legislation, as it is at this moment in time, there is no expectation of privacy in public. And if you want things to mean, mean to be private, you've got to make your own privacy as such. So, when people say, oh, you can't put my film on there, it's an invasion of my yeah. privacy. I, I, at this moment in time, I can. But if people... But you're, you're asking people... I'm not going to get an argument. Mm -hmm. but yeah, of course. No, it's, you're asking people to... Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're hiding mm -hmm. your, your face. Yeah. But then you're invading other people's privacy. Yeah. Is it, you know, I'm not invading is, other people's is that, privacy. Is that not so, so I'm not invading other people's privacy. Well, but you are because, you, you know, you've got a camera in their faces. So, and, so, so yeah. there is no expectation of privacy in public. It's the opposite, in fact, um, is what I'm saying. And, and it's basically to prove... there's a, you know, there's a, there's a irrespective of legal, mm -hmm. there's a moral... And sort of personal sort of issue to that. That's subjective, I think. So that's down to the individual no, who's. I don't, I don't know. I think it's a very objective standard. I don't believe to be so. I don't, so, like, what I would, say, I'll take it back to the argument of like, 
the CCTV, I take it back to the argument of people with dash cams uh, sort of driving down the road and stuff like that. That argument still remains, like, so the, at this moment in time, like, yeah. in, in public places, there is no expectation of privacy. But, if, it's, if, it's, but it's, you know, it, there's this argument going on about the ring cameras, for instance. They are, they are. You, 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 You've seen, and I think there was a case recently, mm -hmm. of, you know, someone successfully took out legal action against a householder. They did. So, so um, you know, whether it sets a precedent yeah. or not is interesting. So, so what I would but, say is because that's the nature of those cameras and where they're located. Yeah. I'm not filming an individual going into the house. If I was filming you, for instance, going into going in from your private mm -hmm. residence, then yes, that's a clear invasion of privacy if I'm putting that and making that public. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm not. I'm at a public I mean, do place. Do you ask people's permission to put their images on, on YouTube? I don't require it. Well, I don't know. I think I think you do. Uh, you don't. Bit. So, so I've been doing this for over over a year now, and yeah. and there's people that have come and gone before me. You don't require it at all. Yeah. Um, that's just the current legislation. Is, is, it may I'm, change in the future. Who knows? I'm, I'm but not this, sure about that. But anyway, I'm just going to say I don't want my image on YouTube. Unfortunately. <laughs> so, so the other thing I say as well is because this is a very good. We're having a very good engaging conversation. I'm quite enjoying it. I wish we'd done this earlier yeah, because I, know, I like. But, but I, you know, just. I like if everybody started off on yeah. your foot, including yourself. I, I beg come to differ. On, I be, no, I beg to differ. I be, so on. what I would say is, yeah. uh, the footage will will basically clear that up, and you can decide for yourself yeah. whether or not I start. I, I do, I do, I do think if you generally want to know more information mm -hmm. about the council, yeah, you know, there's ways and means, better ways and means to get that information. Like yeah. I said, you can, you know, you can make freedom of information so, requests. You can turn turn up to council meetings. Yeah, I appreciate that. So the um, information that I'm looking to to find I don't need to access any of that at this moment in time I may I may make use of those services at a later time but at this moment in time I'm not here to, to use those services I wouldn't want to waste anyone's time but, but surely but, but surely just taking pictures of people and um, buildings yep. doesn't serve for what I would think is your purpose it does okay. uh, yeah it does and it what is your does. purpose so my purpose as I said before is predominantly I go to uh, publicly funded places and it's not just council buildings I go to job centres I go yeah. to police stations mm -hmm. I go to government um, I go to central government departments yeah. and um, I I film to see uh, what how that building's operating how the upkeep's kept how taxpayers money's been spent when it comes to places like this or job yeah. centres or other council facilities I like to see what's happening in the local area so as I say I was looking at the and notice board they're saying you've got a food bank every Saturday or something like that you've got a baby bank yeah. and you've got all this stuff because I've got quite a lot of viewers that, that watch my videos yeah. and um, and I could guarantee that quite a, quite a few of them will be living within Kensington and Chelsea yeah. they may not be able to get uh, out can, and can I ask you one thing certainly irrespective of our views mm. on, on images but um, a lot of our people come here very vulnerable they are so, I, I so agree could you please not put images of our customers yeah. online so, so I'll, I'll address that point quite clearly so again you're correct you, you do have people here that yeah. are very vulnerable just like at job centers just like at police stations and i don't go out my way to film members of the public Fantastic. Um, okay. i certainly i'm not here for members of the public i'm here for the council facilities yeah. it's, itself um, and if it can be helped i will not obviously display any of their um is that you or me that's you. Excuse me. That's right, you take that call. Oh, hello. Guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to be here all day. Alright. I'm going to shoot off. All right. All right. But yeah, listen. Where are you off to now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens. I've got a lot of hey, let's to do. So. Good terms, shall we? Yeah, but sure. I'll shake your hand because let's see the questions that you asked. Um, they're very engaging questions, and I don't mind answering them. You know, like, as I say, I'm not here to antagonise anyone. I oh, know, but that's um, what it comes across at first of all. So yeah. No, you, I get, can you understand sort of our perspective? I can to an extent. Yeah, of yeah. course I can. You know, but yeah. at the same time, like it's. It's, it's supposed to be a two-way street, and if, there's, if we're engaging in constructive dialogue, then we, we might be able to reach a consensus, you know. Uh, yeah. We might not agree with each other, but we can at least agree disagreeably, yeah. you know. Or dis right. yeah, or whatever where are you so. off to now, anyway? I don't know yet, you know, I'll see where my <laughs> feet take me. Yeah, but no, <laughs> nah, not quite. <laughs> it's no. Friday, go down the pub. No, I don't drink. I'm, Do I'm probably the only Glaswegian that doesn't drink. Oh, it's no. bad for your health. It's not, it's not good for you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Anyway, my friend, have a nice weekend. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jeez. <laughs> Feel free, I've been more than willing. Listen, if you want to give if you want to give me a tour sometime, I'd be really happy for that, you know. Like, a tour, a tour of the council, like see see what he's doing here, like what what why not apply officially and then we can get the sort of communications team. Maybe. The only problem I've got now is that I am gonna to have to sort of file complaints, it's chilly on it. Um I am gonna to have to file complaints against the security um and I'm gonna to have to sort of get police involvement just for the way I was treated earlier. Um that being said, the footage will be made available to them. If they think that I've committed a criminal offence, then they won't hesitate to, to hold me accountable. Um, but I'm going to have to deal with that first, unfortunately, because it's not it's not ideal. Um, I wish it never went that way. It's not like I would much yeah, I prefer know, it. If you put the camera in someone's face, you know, it's just... Yeah, so the camera was never in anyone's face. Mm. So, like, it was, I, I was more than the distance I was from you. Come on, let's and, uh, go. Yeah, it's anyway, Friday. have a nice weekend. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Jeez, oh, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Kensington and Chelsea Council building. What do you think? Absolutely insane. Now, listen, I could be there for the, till the cows come home. Um, but, but yeah, it's next level. I, I just can't believe the sheer audacity of those security officials to act in the way that they acted. Not good at all. Um, but to be fair, that gentleman there, wow, what a turn of events. You know, he started off, repeat, repeat, repeat. Eat, sleep, repeat, eat, sleep, repeat, ask me the same thing over and over again. And then eventually he left me alone. I went back about my business. He's approached me again and I thought, here we go, here it comes round two. And it's he's actually he, what he'd done, if you if you watch closely, his de-escalation was uh, was actually on point, to be fair. I admire him for that because you could see we were sort of slipping into that and he flipped it. But makes me question why he didn't do that sooner. Why did he allow that to go on for such a long period of time when we could have had such an open and engaging conversation? I'm not here to to antagonise an argument. I'm more than happy to have a conversation, even if uh, even if we don't agree with each other. Um, but at least do it in a sort of a, a civil and approachable manner. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Kensington and Chelsea Council Office. Wow, these council buildings definitely are going to get more of my attention because um, it's not the first time I've went to one and been treated in such a manner. I wish it was. I wish it was uh, was a rare occurrence. But it seems to be that whenever you go to a council building, that is the response that you're met with. Abuse, verbal abuse, physical threats and, uh, and assaults on your person. Not good, it's not good at all. Kensington and Chelsea, please do better. It is unacceptable, um, but I'm going to leave it at that. I am. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to move on. I've been here over two hours, guys. Jesus. And pretty much most of it is full of content. It's going to have to be a two-parter. Um, so, not ideal, but not the best. Not the best at all. Um, wow, unbelievable. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please like it. Feel free to share it. Don't forget, pop down, hit that subscribe button, and also check the description. My Facebook link's at the top of that. Click on there, click follow. I'd also appreciate that, guys. It really would help me grow the channel. But I'm leaving it there. Until next time, guys, stay safe. Bye bye.